Okay, I want to talk a little bit about a traditional metal bass sound and a traditional metal uh, bass concept of, of the, how the line works underneath of the guitar. What I was just playing is something that ke continues a nice throbbing, consistent, solid foundation for the track. So even though the guitars are moving chords over top, what gives it a distinctive metal sound is that the bass is just, in this case, writing eighth notes underneath. So on our picking hand, all we're doing is we're just playing eighth notes. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one, and 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 two, and three, and four, and one. And it's just nice and solid. If you want, you can in incorporate some of the muting technique a little bit with you if you want with that. Uh, the actual notes that I'm playing on this particular one, it's starting with an open A, and if you want, you can even play uh, a closed A, which would be on the fifth fret on the E string. But for these purposes, I kind of like to play an open string. It kind of opens the sound of the bass up a little bit. So I'm playing an A, then I'm not moving until the F. Then do a C, G, D, A, and then the riff starts all over again. But you want to give this one a try and, and see how it sounds. And keep pay attention to how solid it sounds, even when the guitar is moving over top. the whole time through it. Another cool thing to pay attention to if you download that off of the site and you use that as, as just sort of a template for you to jam over, make use of, of where you're listening to the drums as well. You can always listen to the kick drum which lands on the one and the three, or you can listen to the backbeat which is the snare drum which lands on two and four. So have fun with that one.